In tonight's Rebound, we revisit the Acadiana Symphony Orchestra. One year after the pandemic forced the nonprofit to make some tough decisions, this year the beat goes on and in person. Rehearsals are underway. We're super excited to be back. And live, in-person concerts are coming back for the Acadiana Symphony Orchestra. Which uh, is amazing. To, to, to have that connection come back. So we're really looking forward to it. Dragos Philippe is the principal cello player. We first met him last year when Zoom became the new concert hall. We're all tech wizards now, in a way, in a sense. So a lot of adapting and uh, just trying to get to that finish line um, uh, and, and make it back to what we're about to do on Friday. And here it is. The symphony is getting ready for two live shows in front of an audience, Friday's Empower concert at St. John's Cathedral and Revive, Thursday, May 13th at St. Mary's Church. It's a whole other feeling, that feeling of live music. I had a chance to watch one of the latest rehearsals with the symphony's executive director, Dana Baker. <laughs> Last year, at the peak of the pandemic, contracts were temporarily suspended for 60 orchestra musicians and 20 teaching artists. I'm happy to say that all of our teachers are back. Um, our musicians, as, as the, the, I guess the levels uh, that have increased, one, phase one, two, three, um, that has also determined what instrumentation we can use. So now we're able to use everything. Um, and so this, this concert coming up on Friday will include everything. And as we know, after a year without, there is nothing quite like live music. And we just can't wait. Can't wait to see you. Cannot wait. <laughs> Our musicians can't wait either.